It's a Walmart. <laughs> it's a Walmart, guys. Welcome to the, uh, uh, Young Broken Board vlog number one, where uh, I'm gonna tell you about my meals and my. Fuck it, this is gonna <laughs> This is what we're looking for, right there, right there, right there. But as you can see. Come in my ass. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're rolling, aren't we? <laughs> we are. Fuck. <laughs> I, I think it's better that we got that on camera instead of you just saying it for no reason. <laughs> so. Pretty much. What we're gonna need right now is a top coat. So let's look for top coat. So we got the paint, but yeah, we, we got the paint. They, they don't let us keep it because we're, we're dirty millennials that have paint. Okay, we found these bamboo skewers. Next thing we need are alligator clips, which should be in elec electric, electric. Okay. <laughs> this is what we needed, but as you can see, it's only a two pack. My thoughts exactly. Now we're off to the office. My entire life has become a giant meme. I wanna die. Hey, my name is Javi, and today we're taking a look at painting. Finally, thank fuck. Before we get into the wonderful world of top coating and painting, I just wanna cover some uh, some of the bases that we uh, we covered last episode, which was a uh, panel line. I will do let's that. get right into the panel lining. Every, everyone type in the chat, Alex is dirt! And in general, Miguel, this is directly addressed to you. Your panel lining technique is, for a beginner, it is, is great, actually. All the lines are clearly defined. I know your original intent was to get like a like a pristine look to your Gundam. Uh, you unintentionally created a really nice battle damage look. Or, or a weathered look, I should say, not battle damage. Yes, a really nice weathered look that will look even better when we start to top coat it. BUT BEFORE WE TOP coat it! Uh, the first thing we do before top coating is to disassemble by the limb. Head. Uh, off. Arm. Uh, there you go. Other arm. You bastard. Don't oh, fuck. <laughs> the more segmented your kit is, the more even the finish. Some people actually just uh, top coat it when it's fully assembled. Mm -hmm. They literally stand it up in front of a spray booth mm -hmm. so the paint doesn't get anywhere and they just fucking <laughs> <laughs> That's a good and fast way, but the problem with that is that you can miss a few spots. Wow. The crevices? The the little crevices, yes. And you have to wait another hour for it to dry mm -hmm. and then they have to flip it over and then spray paint uh... the feet that was fucking standing. So yeah. that's why we are segmenting it. And I feel it is properly segmented now. It's time to mount our pieces. Ooh. And what, what I mean by mounting your pieces is that you get your piece, you get up, and then you sit on top. I have disassembled the Gundam further, much to the disappointment of Miguel here. If you could see his face right now, ooh, it's just... <laughs> can you cut to my face? It's just so much delicious disappointment. God. <laughs> Fuck you! We are going to put the pieces on sticks because as you are painting the piece, you don't want to grab the piece. Imagine this. You're going to spray it. And then where do you put it? Are you just gonna keep, are you just gonna hold it like that for an hour and wait for it to dry? I guess. <laughs> but then once it dries and you let it go, there's gonna be that fucking area that you were grabbing it by. And it's not gonna be painted. And then you're gonna have to fucking grab it at, this is a waste, waste so much time. Well, what do I do, Jobby? Get a real job. Just stop painting Gundams. <laughs> <laughs> that is why. We use sticks. That is why we mount them on sticks. And to do that, there are several ways. The first way I am going to show you, this is a bamboo skewer with a hair clip, a normal hair clip that you could get from a woman's beauty store. And I just taped that on there, see? Masking tape, you could use duct tape or whatever, but the point is, it's a clip, this is a leg piece. You simply find an area that you can clip onto, and you just fucking... It is properly mounted. This is the easiest, simplest, most efficient way of mounting your pieces. But if you don't have access to hair clips or alligator clips also work. And if you don't want to uh, walk into a woman's beauty store, uh, that that's fine, I guess. I'll show you alternate methods. Mounting tape method. This is simply double-sided tape. So you simply get your scissors, you cut a tiny piece like that. And then you get your bamboo skewer, which of course we bought from Walmart. 97 cents, not that bad. Stick it on there. Wrap it around. Get that really on there. You don't want your piece falling off. Remove that non-adhesive layer to reveal the sticky part. And this is now ready to attach to any piece that you require. We have the torso. Plop that on. Stick it. 
There we go. Properly mounted. Ready for painting. And now I'm going to show you the final way, the final method of, uh, of mounting your pieces. All you need is just uh, sticky putty. You could get this at Home Depot. You could buy it online. This is blue tack, but any mounting putty will do. You just roll it around in your fingers all nice and get it all nice and sticky. Makes you think of your last fab session that didn't go as planned and you didn't properly clean up. I don't really like that feeling at all. You gotta, you really gotta make sure that you clean up, you, you have to clean up after yourself. God damn. <laughs> so you <laughs> attach that onto your stick and you get a piece. We'll do the backpack here. The Ransel. Ransuru. And we just stick that on. <gasps> there we go. It is ready to be mounted. You want to get a foam, foam block. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nailed it. Okay, now I, I just want to point out this, this contraption that I've devised for myself. It's simply a plastic box that I drilled holes into. It's a drying box. So when you dry these outside, because you want them outside, you, you don't want to crowd them up in your place and, you know, cancer. You put them outside and it just allows the pieces to ventilate without getting any, like, outside, outdoor crud. You know, like pollen or leaves or stuff like that. You don't need this box. All you need is a foam block. Let's go outside. Let's. We have come outside and we're going to start... We're gonna start <laughs> the fun part. So we have two different brands of top coat, and I kind of wanted to give. Uh, I wanted to test out the looks that they have. From my experience, Rust-Oleum, the one that we got from Walmart, the finish is not quite as flat, but it's way more durable than Krylon. And from my experience, Krylon has always been better looking, but less durable and uh, harder to dry. And my mask <laughs> is on, so let's get it started. <laughs> first things first, cover your mouth. Protective eyewear, optional. There you go. You get the cool one. Fuck yeah! <laughs> As a side note... Wait, are there Care Bears on your... First thing you want to do is give your can good old shake. You kind of want to, you kind of want to shake it a lot. You hear that ball in there? That ball is gonna mix up all the paint. It's gonna make it run really nicely. I feel like my mask is falling off. Cancer. <laughs> Can is all shaken up. We're ready to do this. Fuck this mask. Both masks. I'm taking this off. <laughs> well, like the the safer alternative to this really cheap mask that falls off easily is to get a full blown respirator. It might go for like thirty bucks, but it's worth it in the long run. You know. Can, can't you super do it? Peace far away. Make sure the wind is point is in your favor. You don't want the wind blowing it in your face or blowing it away from the piece. Give that one final shake. Give it a test spray. Let's do this. Light coats. Really light coats. You just want to keep doing that. Woo, you can just smell the cancer. There you go. Stick that back in your foam block. That should take about an hour to dry. Oof. Yep. Oh, there's something about this smell here. You know it's bad for you, but it smells kind of good. I don't know. It's because you're getting high. That's probably it. <laughs> Light coats. You're not doing continuous sprays. It's short bursts. It's fine. You don't really have to like overdo it either, huh? Nope. Not at all. The key is to not overdo it. Right. You know what I totally forgot to mention? Gloves. <laughs> oh jeez. But it's okay because these skewers are really long, so they didn't, the paint didn't touch my hand. But you shouldn't be going out like and eating with your fingers. Exactly. You can go rubber. You can go paper. I mean plastic. But you know any glove will do anything that will protect your hand. These pieces actually look way better than I expected. Now we're gonna try out the Krylon top coat. Yeah. I'm using my Blitz Gundam butt as a sacrificial lamb to test out this alternative top coat. And what I'm doing right now is just dusting off any flakes, flakes of dandruff. I don't know. Wash your hair, guys. Oh, that's a different smell. That's a different kind of cancer. Oh, joy. That is straight up cancer.
And after all is said and done, yeah, it's been a long. It's the and the journey's not quite over, is it? No. <laughs> the the process of painting, mounting your your pieces yeah. takes a while, you know, considering drying times. And to close this out, I put back on my face. I I also I think I'm just gonna mention one quick one thing real quick. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a separate video. My thoughts on the whole process. Yeah. I thought, and like if it discouraged me or not, which I don't think it did. But. <coughs> Gundam 101 review. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hope you enjoyed our time here together, but it's time to say goodbye. We'll see you on our next Gundam 101 video, which should be coming out next week. Oh, yes. And we'll also see you on the podcast, which you should, we would, which you should check out. And of course, for you uh, Jobby the Hong viewers, uh, I will get to reviewing this next week. Next, uh, next week's review will be the High Grade RX 7A-2. We're getting a lot of Gundam this week. Yeah. I mean, these pa these next two weeks, next a lot weeks. of Gundam. This week, Gundam. Next week, Gundam. Quit telling me to do more Gundam. <laughs> Fuck you. <I'm> <laughs>